Hey everybody, it's Brooke with The Buttered Home and welcome to my messy kitchen. Today we have an easy sheet pan appetizer guaranteed to make everybody in your house on game day happy. This is our version of Italian sheet pan nachos. You won't want to miss a thing, so stay tuned. This just couldn't get simpler. We take a sheet pan and we fit it with some parchment paper and then we add to that some about four cups of, of our nacho chips. We're using scoop style chips here, uh, but feel free to use whatever you have on hand or whatever you desire. Uh, add those in a single layer best you can on that sheet pan. Now we take some yummy, Pre-packaged Alfredo sauce. You can totally make yours homemade with a white roux and some cheese and seasonings if you'd like. Uh, but we're using Mr. Newman's own <laughs> for ours because this is a quick appetizer. About half a cup, just spread it over and get it evenly distributed on top of those chips. Now we add some cooked shredded chicken. I like doing the chicken here because it increases your protein intake uh, on and makes this more than just an appetizer. So the chicken was added so that if you wanted to do this for a quick, quick weeknight meal, you get a little more than just pepperoni or salami, things like that. The cooked chicken I always have on hand, and it's just easy to add that in. I usually add about two cups to mine. Now, on top of that, we're going to add our uh, pepperoni sausage that we've diced up. About a cup of that, and just sprinkle that right over the top. Nice, even layer. Next, we add a layer of mozzarella cheese. All in all, I use about two cups on this recipe. I put about half of it here so that you create lots of cheesy layers in your nachos. Now to that, we add some sliced black olives. Uh, go with your heart here too, but we're using about a half a cup. Just sprinkling those right over the top. Also, we have some sliced pepperoncini peppers, about a quarter of a cup there. And we just drop those in here and there. And then we have some diced tomatoes. And that's, I'm using about a half a cup here. I like the freshness that the tomatoes add. Now we come in with some diced green onion for color and flavor, a mild onion flavor, I might add. And we're using probably about a quarter of a cup there to just sprinkle over the top. Then we finish it with our other half of our mozzarella cheese. These go under the broiler for about five minutes until they're nice and brown and that cheese is melted. Okay, everybody, we are back. We finished about five minutes under medium high setting under the broiler and y'all, these are cheesy and delicious and fantastic. So I'm just gonna take one and let me get a little bit, like I really want a pepperoncini. Pepperoncini, however you say it. Okay, let's give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm. You know, nachos are a lot like pizza. You can turn them into anything that you want. This Italian spin, you can make it Italian more ways than one. If you really like, like meat lovers pizza or um, pasta bolognese, or however you say it, <laughs> you can do all meat, leave the vegetables, have some of the vegetables. There are really no ends to the possibilities of you can do. This recipe, like so many of our others, is just to kind of get your wheels turning 
about some easy feed a crowd appetizers and y'all this is one of them i mean it's fantastic it's beautiful i mean on its own and it's really tasty the um using the alfredo sauce makes it interesting and not as tomato heavy so you really kind of get the brightness of the flavors from the olives and the pepperoncini and all of the fresh vegetables that we used in this so we think that this is a fantastic idea and we would love to see your take on this too get creative with this you can do all kinds of things with it and we would love to hear all about them this recipe like all of our others can be found over at thebutteredhome.com room in the margins where you can make notes to make this recipe your own and that is what we want you to do here at the buttered home is to take our love of cooking and turn it into your love of cooking and we hope that you'll do that with recipes like these if you're not already make sure you're following us on all of our social channels we have a really good time and we want you around with us wherever we are and as usual if you want all of our videos in one convenient place head over to youtube search for the buttered home and when you find us hit that subscribe button and ding the bell so that you can be notified when we drop new videos like this one all right it's game day soon at my house and everybody's going to be happy to have these sheet pan Italian nachos. We hope that you and your family will love them too. And as always from the buttered home to your home, we sure love y'all. Bye.